September 27th, and uh, I'm home off of deployment from survey flying, and uh, I've got a few days in between now and my next deployment, and I uh, thought I would go over some of the equipment that I use and carry with me everywhere I go in the airplane and how I go about using it. My favorite piece of equipment is the iPad Pro with ForeFlight. I love this thing. It, this is the 12 inch screen. It's the big pro. This one's a couple years old, uh, but I swear by it. It is an impressive piece of equipment. It absolutely improves situational awareness. And if you know how to use ForeFlight and you're comfortable with it, uh, it's a wealth of information while you're flying, but it's also really, really good. It, just being an iPad. If, when you're at the hotel and you've got Wi-Fi or just using your phone as a tether, you can check the weather. There are so many different things that you can do outside of ForeFlight even to really increase the weather awareness and just to give yourself an overall excellent picture of what to expect during the flight. And then while you are flying, the really good complement to ForeFlight, something that I've always got in the airplane, uh, is this Sentry. This thing is the, the Sentry with the ADS-B in. It's got a CO detector, and it is a WASP GPS, Wide Area Augmentation System, so it's super accurate GPS that feeds the iPad. And what's really cool is while you're flying, you can tap the AHAR screen, Attitude Heading Reference System, and you get real-time AHARS data from the Sentry as a backup. What's really cool about this is while you're flying along, if your actual instrument conditions and you're single pilot like I am all the time, you can look down at the iPad and look at the mapping side and the moving map side, and even though you're looking down, you still have attitude information right at your in, inside your field of sight. So you don't have to continue to look up at the instrument panel to see orientation, especially without an autopilot like what I have. I don't have an autopilot to keep me upright while I'm doing multitasking in the cockpit. So this is a super handy little uh, device. It's excellent for letting you know what the weather's doing at different airports while you're flying. And I just, I swear by that combo, the iPad and then the, the pencil. It seems kind of cheesy, but I love this pencil. And the way I use it in the iPad is I've got checklists set up for the Cessna 402 that I'm flying, which is really cool. And you can just tap, 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 tap through the checklists. But the scratch pad function for ForeFlight is really a cool feature. For, the, for instance, the last time I flew, Information Sierra gives me 10 plus visibility, few at 1200, temperature dew point, altimeter, and the landing runway. Uh, I love this. I, I usually, when I start the engines, I look at the time. I also coordinate that with my watch, my uh, Apple Watch, which gives me Zulu and regular and local time. So those working together are an excellent, uh, excellent use of resources in the cockpit without having to have paper. You can write down notes, and then you can switch over to your clearances. So like if you're flying IFR, You've got your craft, clearance, route, altitude, frequency, and transponder. So they gave me the clearance, my al initial altitude, my departure frequency, and my, trans my transponder setting. It's right there. It's accessible super fast. And then just flip back over to the map. You can easily go your IFR charts right here. And I was flying Alaska. That's why you see Alaska pulled up. But... You've got all this information just right there at your fingertips. Really wonderful use of a resource without having to have extra extra stuff in the cockpit. The pencil is easy to lose, so I always keep it in the box with the Stratus. It goes in there. At the end of the day, I take the Stratus, put it in here, put the pencil in there, zip it up, take that all back to the hotel with me. Light speed is my headset, the Zulu 3. Excellent headset. I always carry a spare set of AA batteries for it. That's, um, you know, if, if it's been a few hours, quite a few hours since I've changed batteries, I'll go ahead and switch them out. 
That way they don't die while I'm flying. And that's just kind of something I always keep a spare set in the case. Coming along here, you see these spare battery packs. These things I always carry, and they have USB ports. The iPad is does not last very long when you're using ForeFlight and Sentry on board the aircraft. So you have to either have it plugged into aircraft power, and some airplanes I fly don't have a USB power port, so I always charge these at night at the hotel and carry them in the airplane with the charging cords at the ready because the iPad needs to be plugged in. The Sentry is the same. I use this white cord and plug it into one of the spare battery packs and it just works like a charm. I carry a flashlight, that's a headlamp. I have two of them in case I'm out at night and I need to make sure that I get that taken care of as far as having backup lighting that's not in, you know, that's independent of the aircraft system. And then I have all this various other charging apparatus. I've got cords, I've got the little bricks, and you'll see that I organize them. I carry them in gallon Ziploc bags. That's the best way to organize that. The stuff that goes in the airplane, the power cords, flashlights, and these batteries, those go to the airplane. This bag, the charging cords, and the bricks stay at the hotel, and that's pretty much how I set that up. But that's really my, that's, that's the kit that I carry with me. It goes in the airplane every day, and it's an excellent cockpit resource for situational awareness and just overall uh, flying comfort. I love it.